Welcome back. I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer, and today I will teach you how to draw Velociraptor from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World both combined. So, yeah, I'm gonna combine the one from Jurassic Park 3 and Jurassic World, and yeah, it'll be a cool drawing. So, get out your pencil and we'll start. So, in this picture, it's gonna be lunging forward, so I'm gonna just put in the main outline as I usually do to really capture the movement and fit the whole thing on the page as well. So the head will be right about here, with the mouth open, so put oval there, the body about there, arms. The slag will be bent back and touching the ground and this one will be in the air and then the tail will just go off and go up in the air so that's, this is a very basic outline but it's very easy to put in an outline like this one I, I, I'm not, in my other videos I've shown harder ways how to do it but I find this one's one of the most simplest ones and easy to do so I apologize for the lighting, it's not that good in here, but... So I just, and I just watched Jurassic Park 3 the other day, so that will, that was helpful a little bit, I guess. <laughs> it was great, but... They're my, the, my favorite raptors from the Jurassic Park series would be, are the ones from Jurassic Park 3. So again, just put in the raptor head there. You can put it in the bottom jaw. Just using some basic lines. Then you can take your eraser and erase the lines you don't need. The eye is going to be right about there so you can put a circle in for that. This is like the second outline where we're going to see the shape of the dinosaur actually come in. This has got a very thin neck because Velociraptor was more of an agile dinosaur than like T-Rex. So you can just like copy what I'm doing and just slowly shape the body. So both arms and claws are going to be uplifted as if it's ready to lunge onto something. <laughs> I'm going to put in the muscles, the calf, the knee, and then sh the shin. It's got a very long ankle. And it's got that claw. And this foot will just be uplifted into the air. Like so. And the tail is, looks pretty good. For now. I hope you guys can see all that. You guys can't really see the tail, but um, I think I will open this jaw a bit more. Like that. I don't want to make the bottom jaw look bigger than the top one, because that's a mistake people often do when drawing dinosaurs. Is making the bottom jaw look bigger than the top. So yeah, now we can begin refining a little bit. The last raptor I've always found is a very easy dinosaur to draw. It's just very basic. Now for the eyes, I'm going to do the regular Jurassic Park eyes. They look sort of like bird eyes, not like the Jurassic World ones, which were quite complicated.
It's going to put in that cavity, the nose. I just got that ridge that goes over the eye. It's got a very narrow jaw. So it probably couldn't bite very hard. I mean, it would still hurt, obviously, but it's not like an allosaur. So I will be doing the Velociraptor from the game sometime. I don't know when, but I'm definitely going to do it. The max level Velociraptor. That one's pretty cool, but I'm just doing a traditional Velociraptor. So you can go ahead and put in the teeth. Don't make them too big because it'll look kind of weird with the Velociraptor. I'll put the tongue sticking out like that. And then this one does have a lot of scales. So you can put those in along the rim. See how easy it is? Just very easy to do. To drop a lesser after. Like I, I struggle sometimes with T-Rex and stuff, but... And sauropods a little bit, but Velociraptor has always been so easy for me to draw. So you can go ahead and put in a bit of shading and add a few more scales. I hope you guys all enjoyed my boss T-Rex drawing. I looked back at it and I was like, Mmm, it doesn't look the very best, but... I may do another boss video later. But I still think it was good. It was just really hard to find reference images for... for the boss level, or the boss battle T-Rex, whatever. That looks good for our Velociraptor head. I'm not going to pen in this drawing. Just for your information. I can leave it with pencil like my Carnotaurus video. It's got a very lizard-like neck. It's got that vein that goes. I believe this is our first Velociraptor that we've drawn. So that is kind of exciting. So I'm going to add some quills. Call them what you like. Or spines, spikes. I'm gonna put them in like that. Just to give it, make it look more flashy. Like so. That looks pretty cool. I know a lot of people disagree with like, what Velociraptor look like, but I'm drawing what I like, how it looks the best. So you can just put in the wrinkles of, uh, on the, the top of the neck. I'm gonna put in the backbone. And of course you can remember to erase any ac access lines. So yeah, put in the backbone, the belly, and now I will put
spikes on the back as well. These ones are going to be a little wider. For some reason, I really like spiky dinosaurs. <laughs> Just makes them look way cooler. And I see how spikes, they look good on any type of dinosaur, like herbivore or carnivore. Ceratops in our sauropod doesn't matter. So just b do a bunch of cross hatching for the belly. Feel free to add skills. I'm shading the bottom of the belly. Again, this is not a very complicated drawing. I'm sure your guys, you guys, your guys' drawing is going to look just as good as mine at the end. This is not really a beginner's drawing, but it's more of a simple, simple drawing. You guys can fill it out completely with scales, but I'm not going to do that right now. I usually do that after the video, actually. <laughs> I haven't told you guys that, but I like finish the drawing after I finish the video just to make it look better. So you guys can feel free to do that as well. To add things that I neglected to put in. So the lesser half has a very human-like arm. So you can just imagine a human's arm and draw it. And that's got claws at the end. I know Velociraptor is a favorite of many people, so I'll try not to mess up on it. Oh man, my lead broke. But I still think T Rex is the most popular dinosaur around. Even though people keep on finding bigger, quote, more powerful ones. T-Rex is still my favorite. And also, it's a, always been a star in the Jurassic Park movies, so. Like, Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3 just comes out of nowhere, like. I don't even think they hatched a Spinosaurus, they just wanted some big predator to kill T-Rex. And that fight was so unrealistic. <laughs> it was like, the T-Rex when it first latched on to the Spinosaurus, if you guys remember, that would have like crushed the neck of Spinosaurus and killed it. So just erase the extra marks that we did in our outline. Then add wrinkles and scales and whatnot. So put in the leg and you can enhance the muscles because the Lost after was an extremely fast runner. You could probably like outrun any human. It might not be as fast as it, they say in Jurassic World, but it was still really fast. Maybe as like as fast as an ostrich, which was like 50 miles per hour. I don't know, somewhere around there. No, oh, like 45, something like that. I don't, can't remember. <laughs> anyway, just make the leg look really strong. Because that was actually the main weapon of Velociraptor would be its leg and its foot. Not so much the mouth. The mouth is more for feeding, not for attacking. Even though Blue does attack Hoskins, 
with her mouth in the Jurassic World movie. But then when Blue is fighting like the Indominus Rex, she uses her claws and on her feet and hands. See so yeah, how you can put on that huge razor claw that Velociraptor is famous for. But personally, I like Deinonychus better than Velociraptor. Just because it's bigger and. Yeah, Velociraptor is really small in real life. Unlike the Jurassic Park movies portray it. Which is still okay, I mean. It's science fiction, so they make the T-Rex a little big, too. And it, maybe the Spinosaurus is a little bit too big as well, but... That's why the Indominus Rex is cool, because they can just make it, make it however they want to. That little dew claw, put that in. And change in this leg. Put in the other two claws. I always think Velociraptor's foot looks really funny when it's lifted up like this. <laughs> So yeah, if you, if you want to see another video on how to draw Velociraptor, go to Beanie Draws, this other great jar. Um, he did a video on bl blue running and did a really good job, so I actually drew that too. I watched his video. It's completely different from mine, but it's still really good, so you can check that out if you don't like this one that much, but I really hope you guys like it. So I can put in the tail. This is probably meant, like, it probably used the tail to steer itself a lot. And it has a counterweight against, like, its body. Because, like, cheetahs use their tails to steer themselves. So you just put wrinkles along the top of the tail. So yeah, there's our, this is our Velociraptor. I really hope you guys like it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, rest of that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.